Uh, I have something else for you. Uh, three, uh, what is it called? Family Tree DNA. Uh, the at-home DNA kits. Yes. They say they're going to let the FBI into their database to help solve crimes. That should be enjoined. When you use this kit, I have seen it. I haven't used it, though some of our colleagues have. These people have been on Fox. Uh, when you use this kit, there is an implied agreement of confidentiality. For them to violate that agreement and give it to the government would cause the cost to them a great deal of money in a class action lawsuit. The flip side of this is the government can't just gather information about you. It has to have articulable suspicion, a reason to want this DNA. It can't just say, give us the DNA of all of your customers. That's prohibited right. by the Fourth Amendment. But they could go to this company and say, we've got suspicions about this particular person. Please, we'd like to see the, that person's DNA. They probably That'd should do it by a search warrant. If the, if the suspicion rises to probable cause, then it would be a classic search warrant. Which means a lot of people will not go to DNA at home test kits because they don't want their DNA out as, there. As Ashley, our colleague, said so <laughs> nicely during the break, giving this information to the government? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Almost anything. Actually, you're sitting right here. Yes, of yeah, course. Right. You're right. sarcastic. It's all right, Judge. A fine performance one more time. Thank Pleasure. you, sir. Pleasure. Uh, check the big board. Now we're up. Not much, but we're up. Uh, seven points higher. More Varney after this.